today's video, I got you guys with a crazy gameplay on Vondo Park and another crazy gameplay on Ashika Island using the ISO 45 SMG. You guys are gonna see in the gameplay, this build I put together is absolutely disgusting and it's up there as one of the fastest killing SMGs in the entire game. So of course, stay tuned for that, but real quick, I wanna give a massive shout out to the Nodi gang. As usual, I got you guys the class up at the end of the video. Hop directly into it. This guy land. Nope. But this ISO 45 is, is, is so fire. It's just like the ISO 9 mil. I finally put an optic on it and it just feels so clean. I definitely hear more people. I think they're up above me. Get me up top real quick. I just got ripped apart. I think I did land in. I'm not even worried about the scan, to be honest. Not even worried about it. There's a guy right below me, though. Definitely laying down somewhere. I have no idea where. It's all good. Hey, another loady crate? There's so many loady crates this time. Pretty slow walk it like that. Yeah, there's just something about this optic that's so clean. I was really hoping that was fast hands, bro. I say that every single gameplay, every single time I load up into the game, I get a loady crate. Having no fast hands is just such a miserable experience. It was all good though. We got we got perk perk package money. We got the warden package. We got fast hands, bird's eye, double time. Revive, I don't even loot these. No UAV. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. All good. All right, let's hit the balloon. Like I always tell you guys, in these solos, as long as I keep my pacing up and I just keep flying around the map, we can drop an absolute banger. So off to a good little start. Six kills. Got our loady guns. Got our perks. Guy up top. Oh, my God. World's slowest mantle, okay, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about that made him think I was cheating, though? Not even getting up. Oh Same my guy. god, go fucking kill you. Oh my god, bro. That guy's yapping in game chat every single time he dies? Like that? He's really yapping. Get him out. Somebody else was shooting him though. I don't even know where. I need to be better at not wiping the lobby. I say it every single time I'm in solos. But that's already multiple team wipes. I landed right on top of me, bro. I, I, I like literally just got done talking about team wipes, bro. That guy lands right on me. I need to go get a UAV popped real quick. This area is so quiet. I feel like this area is so active when, when I'm uh, playing solo quads. Uh, the second I get back into solos, the, the, the map just doesn't uh, flow the same. Like the areas that people sit are just entirely different. I thought I heard him second floor. The guy top PD. Yeah, I need to go to a like, museum, bro. In solo quads, like museum is never the active spot. I don't know. It's really weird to be honest. This guy, this guy might be waiting on this little ledge. He is. What in the world is he doing, bro? He's helping. I'm stuck. Got another mortar. Oh, he is so one shot. He is so one shot.
Nah, never mind. Nigga. He just got beamed. I'll be honest. He hop in the water? But he just vanished. Bro, I've, I've wiped this lobby clean. I have so many people that are I've killed just flying in. But I say it every gameplay, bro. I need to stop doing that. That's so dumb. <laughs> I just feel like I can't help myself when I see somebody flying. It's just such a free kill. Like, I just have to shoot at them. I, I, I don't know why. It's all good, though. Let's keep it moving. I was saying earlier, a ton of people are in museums, so might as well get involved over here. Gonna pop this UAV. Y'all dipped. That guy's flying in. I'm gonna let him chill. I'm gonna let him chill. I thought he was gonna peek over as I was popping that little redeploy and I thought I was gonna be cooked. So the guy top PD. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who in the world popped that bomb drone? Let's do this little jump up real quick, cross all the way over. right on me dude. relax 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 oh my god let me back involved he's running all the way down Listen, if any, if any of you guys are confused why I shot that door that way, because I've been getting accused of cheating so much recently. Um, you heard his footsteps stop after he closed the door. You heard the wooden footsteps completely come to a stop after that door uh, audio cue was closed. So that's why I shot it. And that's why he was there. I start doing that more often. I start explaining what I'm thinking as I'm as I'm doing stuff, because uh, a lot a lot less people would probably accuse me of cheating. that whole series pretty soon i was talking about doing it on one of my streams recently uh but i just really never got a chance to do like an inside the mind type series like like i said talking through everything that i'm doing in the gameplay but we do have the new war zone dropping very very soon next wednesday actually if you guys don't know that uh i think like december 5th or 6th very very soon i'm super excited for it but hopefully with that new war zone i'll get some of the series i've always talked about i'll get an emotion because I've always talked about doing an inside the mind and I've always talked about doing a movement guide which you guys have asked for a movement guide on this game uh, since the beginning and that's something I've always just been slapping on. Said, that's something that i've just always been slacking on and i i don't know why but i just never did it do i not have my smokes i just realized i haven't grabbed my actual loadout a single time this game it's actually kind of crazy Underground. I need, to, I need to clean up my inventory. I don't need this many mortars. I need plates. I've been out of plates like all game. 
Kai's landing back. Let me get one more respawn back. We got 30 seconds on the on the redeploy. Already got 27 kills. Yeah, he just landed back. He's got to rotate too. He just picked up my mortar. Oh my god. I just hand delivered that man a mortar. Me up top. I guess I really could have just popped the mortar instead of just dropping. I could have just popped it out, out in the middle of nowhere. Where did this guy go? He had to have rotated through, no? At top stadium. Multiple top stadium. Get me involved. I should go grab my loadout real quick since it's up here. I, I need my throw knives and my smokes. I played that so extra. I just did not want to die to him for no reason. That just seemed like one of those stupid fights that I probably would have lost in some like 50 50 gunfight. <laughs> Had to play that safe real quick. Another guy across in the water. One guy in the bye. It's out in the open. One shot. I should have just shot him with my cast out, bro. What am I doing? This guy's underneath. Another guy underneath. Jumped out from over there. Pop this here for no reason. He's got to jump out. Oh, it's just me and him. I thought I was still looking for the guy on the side of the stadium. He's got to. He's got to have a durable. Oh, he's going all the way. taking his sweet time with this he's gonna be in right there that's so annoying get out man. get out man I, can't, I actually can't believe we didn't grab our loadout to the end game we didn't die I don't think a single time that entire game but I'll take it 34 13k damage that ISO 45 is disgusting oh my god Just beam that guy. Right, let's see if we can get enough money real, real quick right here. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get our loady popped. I might go do that little bunker thing at the bottom of the building, which I think I've only ever opened like twice. How's he throwing frag grenades? The same guy I just killed. Bro, I feel like my audio is just like locked in right now. I've played a couple games tonight and every single game so far, my audio has just been like perfect. There's a cluster mark on my loadout. Sickening. Absolutely sickening. But yeah, like I was saying, Ashika Island uh, really has super weird pacing. I, I really don't even know why. Like it doesn't flow the same as Vondel whatsoever. Um, but same thing as long as you keep flying around the map keep the uavs flowing keep all that flowing then you'll be able to drop a high kill game all right i got pretty active pretty quick top in the heli UAV 
Ruby's not even working, bro. Where are you guys going? I need to be good at not wiping the lobby this game. Especially with the Sheikah. That's like the one main thing with the Sheikah is like the lobbies just die out so fast. And they just play so slow. That's the issue with the with the flow and the pacing, but We've located the rest of them. So compared to Vondo, I need to be a little bit better on this one, uh, to not shoot people flying in as as fresh spawns. Let them get their respawns back, let them get fully back into the mix. And then just farm them. We did have two pings over this building when I popped my UAV. I doubt they're still just vibing in here. Oh, pick. Hello? Can you grab the money? This thing's ridiculous. It just feels so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, why does he have to say that in game chat, bro? So unnecessary. <laughs> the world is staring at me. Oh my god. I'm trying to get the one-shot headshot. Please get my knife back, bro. They gave up. Already got 15. I feel like this is actually really good pacing compared to my usual Sheikah games, which I haven't even really been playing as Sheikah. Because I'll be honest, this is uh, by far, no question, my least favorite Resurgence map we've ever had. Out of Fortune's Keep, Rebirth Island, uh, Vondo Park, Sheikah Island, all the ones that we've had, I, I would have to put a Sheikah at the bottom. That's actually a good question for you guys, too. If you guys had to rank all the resurgence maps in order in the ones you like, you know, top to bottom, one through four, what would your list be, bro? Let me know down in the comments below between Rebirth Island, Fortune's Keep, Ashika Island, and Vondo Park. Because mine would definitely be Rebirth number one. Vondel or uh, Fortune's Keep number two. I actually really enjoyed Fortune's Keep. I feel like a lot of people like slept on that map, did not give it the credit it deserved, but I put that into two, and then number four would be Ashika for me. I'll be honest. Whoa, 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 relax. I'll be honest, we're in a nice little lobby right now. People are moving around the map clueless, I'll be for real. The guy on top of the hill, I just saw him. Also, speaking of resurgence maps, are you guys excited for the uh, the return of Rebirth and Fortune's Keep in 2024? I don't know exactly when in 2024, but all I know is we're getting Rebirth and Fortune's Keep back with the new Warzone. Which I just can't wait for it, bro. One, one, just because the maps are, you know, fire and by far my favorite maps in Warzone. Obviously next to like Verdansk, but... Also because of the content purposes, bro. Rebirth was king when it came to YouTube. So many people loved the map. So many people loved it on YouTube, TikTok. It was just overall for, for entertainment value. Love that, buddy. Thank you. See, like, what is he saying all that in game chat for, bro? Relax. him landing back he just broke his legs who's shooting me Bro, who in the world is shooting me that's him that's him that's him I'm, no it's not him no it's him who's shooting there's a different guy almost got in there got busy with the other one 
Where that same guy that was talking crazy in game chat is whispering me in the game. Now, you guys can't even see it because it's behind my face cam, but he's telling me to join up and all that stuff. He is livid. He is so upset that I killed him in a pixelated shooter game. That's unbelievable. Pop a little advance UAV, keep it moving. Get busy. Don't snipe me. Bro, I'll be honest. First off, ignore the knife. I don't know what just happened with that throwing knife, but I'll be honest. How did he not die to the ATV? Like, how did that not hit him? Can't tell where this guy is. He's in the tunnel, bro. Of course he is. guys underground as well dude relax please don't please don't snipe me hold on here let let me let me let me reply to this guy real quick. Look look what he's saying to me. Alright, move on with the game now. Stayed in the gameplay too. You're lucky to see a 30 ball on a Sheikah Island. So I'm happy this one's already over 30. I really don't even know why I'm replying to that guy. I'm going to be for real. Went back inside. That, that end game was kind of wild. Everybody just kept flying at me. We'll take that though. Nice little 36 piece. We were teeing up the entire time. I think we only died I, like one single time. We had somebody yapping us, yapping at us in game chat and whispers. That was a pretty good game, bro. We'll take it. We'll take it. 36, 11, almost 12K damage with that ISO 45. I hope you guys enjoyed those gameplays. We were going crazy the entire time, but hopping directly into the build for the ISO 45. Starting off with the muzzle, we have the Spiral V3.5 Flash Hider, giving you guys that muzzle flash concealment and recoil steadiness, making sure the ISO 45 is an absolute beam. Then we're between the muzzle for fully maxed out recoil smoothness and fully maxed out gun kick control. Then just like I always tell you guys, the optics are 100% personal preference. You guys can run whatever you feel the most comfortable with, but for me on the ISO 45 i felt the best with the slimline pro and for the tuning on the optic we're doing negative 2.32 for the ads speed and fully maxing it out for far then we're tossing on the demo fade tack for our stock giving us the aim walking speed and sprint speed just making us a whole lot faster on the map for the tuning on the stock we're doing plus 1.16 for the aim walking steadiness and negative 1.16 for the aim walking speed then just like every single smg build i put out recently we have the 0.45 auto hollow point ammunition giving you guys the no enemy skulls and crippling power making it to where their screen looks crazy and to where they can't run then we're 
we'll be tuning in for fully maxed out damage range and fully maxed out for recoil steadiness. And of course, for the last and final attachment, we have the 45 round drum mag. Increase the mag capacity, which with the fire rate on the ISO 45, this is absolutely essential for the build. But overall, that's my full build for the ISO 45 SMG in Warzone 2 Season 6. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best SMGs in the entire game right now. So if you guys haven't already, go through, give the full bit a try, tell them the highest game you guys get with it. That's it for the video.